La Plata River has a lot of really good qualities. It's clean water. The watershed is in generally pretty good shape, but the fish habitat on Indian Shadow was not very good. My design involved trying to put in a single channel meandering river that has drops and um, rocks and habitat and, and cover for fish to hang out in for the entire year. Low flow conditions are very critical. There's a lot of irrigation withdrawals and so whatever water is in the river needs to be deep and, and moving. And so the, the channel design involved creating a meandering single deep channel within the cobble and creating lots of large boulder structures that um, provide some geology for the river to work on and, and flow over and scour and, and create depth and action. The project is about a mile long and uh, we hauled in a whole bunch of rocks from all over the place. Uh, basically being a little geologic agent out there with diesel and dump trucks and moving the geology where I wanted it. <laughs> um, a lot of the structures are built and designed to create scour. We have this water coming over the sides and using its power and its action to keep, keep the um, sediment from collecting in there. So that's pretty important, not only for low flow, but then you use the high flow action to maintain that structure. Then when the, the flow goes down in the spring, you have you still have your deep hole and it's kind of cleaned and refreshed. And so yeah, the scour part of pool dynamics in this river is very important. Otherwise it would just fill in again. I think that's really the key to have spawning habitat, to have rearing habitat, which is shallow and even small sticks and debris will cre uh, create a nice little hiding spot for, for trout. And so having scour pools, backwater pools, eddies, debris, some beaver action, it's all adds to the whole complexity and diversity that's really critical for um, fish. And then also I think for fishing, so it's not all the same and uh, can provide different challenges for different levels of fishermen. Me personally, I tend to get all tangled up in the willows, so it's nice to have a <laughs> broad open <laughs> place to cast. And, um, and I think the more expert fishermen can, can get into all the tangled habitat. People are very enthusiastic about the river. They're excited to have a gorgeous piece of fishery that's, that's not a real big river, I think. It's kind of a draw. It's very beautiful. It's, it's clean. It's, uh, it's, really, it's a really fun river to, to work on and, and improve and I think this enhancement work will really help people appreciate the river and, and also watch it as, as they're living here and, um, and watching the river change year to year. I think it's uh, a really good educational palette.